because there's a lot of stories about you playing <laughs> hammered. Stop, like John, your brand is known, which you've done a great job at. There's nobody who's done better creating brand than John Daly. Your brand is known for being wild, animal, crazy, fucking do whatever the fuck I want, blah, blah, blah. What is the most fucked up you've ever been during one single round of a professional event where you shouldn't have been it's fucked up? Very good up? question. <laughs> very good question. Well, that is an honest question. In 92, when I was um, defending the PGA Championship, mm -hmm. I went out with a couple of buddies from the Cardinals baseball team. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Was it like, hey, were they like, John, you shouldn't be going out? Pedro Guerrero was one of my best friends that night. <laughs> Gold glove, eight gold glove winner, mm -hmm. first baseman for the Cardinals for all these years, and um, we went out. And um, what does going out mean, though, with Pedro Guerrero? Uh, well, we would have probably not gone out as long until I found out that my boy Kurt Loggy okay. owned the bar downtown, one of the bars downtown, and that's when Ken Griffey Senior and Junior was coming up and all that. And Kurt comes up and says, "Hey, the bar's yours," and. I almost that morning at 7.30, almost got to the clubhouse. I pulled the car over and fell asleep. Wait a second. So you went out all night long. Your tea time is when? 7.32 or something. And what time yeah. do you show up at the golf course? 7.30. Are you supposed to be hitting balls time. and preparing for your thing? What, are you supposed to practice before a tournament? Are you supposed to be ready before a tournament? Okay, so you show up at 7.30. That is your a very tea time good. 7.32. No, I barely made my tea time. Yeah. Okay. How was your performance that day? It wasn't very good, but the <laughs> second <laughs> hole that year, I'm playing with Hubert Green, and uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the other guy. Yeah. I birdied the first hole. The second hole was a par five. Yeah. I hit this drive as solid as I probably hit a drive and a cardinal, a bird. I hit a bird. No wow. Way. What? I hit a bird. I killed this drive. Okay. Hits the bird, goes in the hazard. I make seven. The I'm bird went in the hazard the ball? The bird's oh, dead. Man. Oh, no way. You really? killed the bird. I killed a cardinal bird. <laughs> not over it. Did you give it its respect? Did you walk up to the cardinal, or were you just like... He was so small, but I <laughs> killed this drive, and I hit a bird. It went in the hazard. You know, it was a par five that's probably a driver six iron for me back then. I make, like, nine or ten. I'm done. I yeah. mean, it's over. Right. So you're going to, like, you know how, like, I go... I'm not at your level, so I go out, I get fucked up. I got to recover if I go, like... You know, I play amateur golf once around. I got to have some, like, Bloody Marys to keep me going. Did you need to drink during the round the next day to, like, recover because you were so hungover? Oh, because so hung hungover golf. golf. Drunk golf is, is one thing, but when you're just hungover, is that, I feel like that's, for me, that's the worst. Worse. Like, you got to well, if you drink like, like me, you really don't get hungover. Really? Mm -hmm. You How drink so? everything straight. You don't get hungover? You wake up, take a shot, and go. Oh. What the so fuck? So you keep it going yeah, the next the day? Problem, the, the amateurs, drinkers in this day and world, they... They drink beer, and then they drink uh, some other drink, and then they drink another drink. If you stay consistent in what you're drinking. You don't get hung? I haven't been hung over in I don't know how many that years. Is